Stephanie, give me a little, I, I know that you went into the insurance, um, business when you got out of school, um, and you were on the, uh, claims and, and adjustments side of things. Um, uh, what what do you think of that side of the business? It was uh, it was interesting. It was um, <laughs> because I was uh, handling right before I left. I was I was handling like very complicated um, claims, very complicated accidents. But it, it it would wear on you because every day you you come and you'd get a couple files given to you with, you know, a sad story, a picture of dead people, you know, it's just, uh, they were, it was very draining. Um, but you know, really made me see the value of insurance, but just working in the corporate world, I, you know, did about, I mean, I was in that for eight years and I had been sat down and they told me where they saw me going in the company and, wasn't really where I wanted to go. And then they gave me a 2% raise and said, enjoy yourself with that. And I mean, <laughs> you know what? I went home and talked to my dad who was still alive at the time. And he, he, he is, you know, my role model and he is an entrepreneur. He was a second generation entrepreneur. His father came straight over from Germany and um, he's like, Steph, you, you know what you're going to get if you stick with this um, or you can get out and, and kind of make your own destiny. And so that's what I decided to do. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And you're in, you're in a part of real estate that a whole lot of women don't dive into. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's really, really extra interesting that you're doing that. Tell us how you really got into the real estate world. Well, uh, when I started my insurance agency, I always loved real estate. I didn't have a great deal of education with it, but it made, it always made more sense to me, real estate than stocks. So I would always invest in, you know, small single family or duplexes, you know, in areas of Colorado where I thought there would be growth, you know, and I had, a, you know, I was happened to be good at that. Um, but I wasn't a particularly great landlord um, yeah, <laughs> because I, I, I'm too soft. I could never raise the rent and, you know, I wasn't really ever cash flowing tremendously, tremendously. So um, I was invited to this boot camp about syndications and I'd never heard of it, never heard the terminology, went to it and that absolutely changed my life. Just, I, I loved the concept. I'd never heard of it, of a group of people buying something bigger than anyone could do on their own. And so then that was in 2016 and I just went full force into learning because that actually you do need to learn. You can't really wing it. Um, so you just like threw myself into learning, did my first syndication and at the end of 2018 and realized I didn't ever, ever want to do one by myself again <laughs> um, <laughs> and teamed up with my, with a partner who we kind of met because we were in the same kind of, uh, I guess it's called RE Mentor, and that's where a lot of people go to train for this. Mm -hmm. And I met my partner there, and he loves to find deals and be hard and, you know, uh, negotiate the devil out of some of these things until we get a, a good deal on something. And then I I raise money. And so that that I fell into that real, real nicely. I love doing it. And, um, and so now we're on our eighth deal together, but you're right. There's um, no women, <laughs> very little women in this industry. That's right. <laughs>